Yeah. Fuck yeah. me. All right. Beginning this weeb bullshit. On a white door on the left is a Greek cross with the text head nurse on a nameplate. A voice from the inside responds to my knock almost immediately. Can't make it out. Sound like an invitation, so I invite myself in. The room is not large, and it smells strange. <laughs> That's strange. Uh, oh god, kill me. <laughs> a friendly looking man turns around in his office chair to face me as I enter. His desk is neat and tidy, but the bin under the table is overflowing with used medical utensils. There are at least a dozen coffee cups. <laughs> That's me? Yeah. <clears throat> Hello there. What can I do for you today? See you, Ugandan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this song. He is young looking and sort of rugged, but the dimples in his cheeks wash that impression away with these smiles. Uh, are you the nurse? Yeah, but he has her the same. Question. Oh, right. I'm, I'm the inner voice. Too bad. <laughs> well, yes, I am. He says on the door note. Wow! <laughs> me by my name. It's just the nurse, like everyone else. Of course, I shake off my confusion, especially considering he clicked, realizing <laughs> I probably should have grabbed his extended hand. His handshake is rather firm and friendly. All right, uh, I'm a new student, and my homeroom teacher told me to come and meet you. My name's Hisao Nakai. His eyes light up with revelation as he snaps his fingers. <laughs> Oh, you're that Nakai. I was just reading your file. In You've become movie. more Indian. <laughs> I'm somewhere in between. I'm, I'm ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> Some kind of chronic arrhythmia and related cognitive symptom magnificent. Right? That's racist. <laughs> you made him Indian because he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm bad with accents. He'll turn Irish in a minute. Just give, me, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> He just just need to sit down in a vacant armchair in front of his desk. What's on his computer? Uh, yes. Some kind of porn. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> good. Good. But you've probably been briefed about the school enough. So I'll go over this quickly. We have all kinds of faculty available. More Facilities? <laughs> 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 therapy and such. There's always someone from my stuff around, even at night. So never hesitate to call us if there is a problem. The famous 24-hour nursing staff. Wow, this is just like a hospital. Well, not exactly. The fuck? <laughs> For instance, we don't do brain surgery here. You do other surgeries, though. This joke feels so out of place that I'm left thinking why he even said it. <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, that's really weird to have so many m medical people at school. Oh, you're guilty of stupid. I'm not so sure of that myself, but I don't let the nurse know it. <laughs> now let me just find the referral again. While he searches for something from his computer and shuffles stacks of papers around, I let my gaze wander around the room. It's the epitome of generic, I'd like to say. Is that... is that... Anyway, beige walls and a ceiling, dark gray... yeah. Even the ridiculous <laughs> educational po... yeah. Smiling, the nurse draws a THICK file of st <laughs> So you are ready for the medication for the other yeah. Just remember to take your pills every morning and everything that won't be done. That accent is getting thicker and thicker to the <laughs> point I can't even understand what you're saying. It's Japanese, dude. Apart from that, do you do any sports or stuff like I don't know, boxing? He grins to his own joke, but I don't. Uh I played soccer occasionally with some classmates. Oh uh, right. I'm afraid I'm going to have to recommend you from cut that shit out, at least forever. <laughs> oh. My lack of reaction makes him raise an eyebrow, but really, I'm not too bothered by being him forbidding me to kick a ball around. I guess I never did it out of burning passion for the sport, just to have something to do. You literally introduced himself to the class like, I'm into two things, reading and soccer. Yeah. And he was like, eh, I guess I didn't really fuck with that much. <laughs> That's why no one likes you, we sell. <clears throat> Any kind of conclusion might be very dangerous to your heart, and risking another attack- Why would a concussion be dangerous to my heart? Is my heart in my head, yeah, you fucking ridiculous. idiot? It makes no sense. The previous one you got about the tongue and the chest? Concussion to the chest area? <laughs> I'm pausing here. What, do you, what the fuck do you mean? Do you mean a contusion, maybe? A con con concussion. What? There is no, there is no cause of mention in your paper. If the trumpet in this wasn't so hot, I'd be angrier. <laughs> uh, not exactly. I sidestep the question acceptably, and he glances at me over his papers with a more serious expression on his face. She looks like Brock. It does. Never opens his eyes. 
<laughs> Still, you need to keep your body healthy, so some exercise will do you good. We have physical therapy and set available as I said, but I don't think you really need such heavy measure. Just get some light exercise regularly. Brisk walks are even like jogging, jumping rope and that sort of thing. Swimming, yes. There's a pool. I heard. <laughs> yes, good. And Misha's voice in the back of his head. <laughs> Yo, there's a pool here, nigga! <laughs> Soon you will be told before you need to take care again. What the <laughs> fuck did you just say? <laughs> he, he wags his finger to emphasize the point. No need, really. I've heard this a thousand times already. Absolutely no. Oh, fuck me. Absolutely no risk necessary. Take care. Yourself. Okay. Goes over my papers one more time and sets them on the desk. Obviously content. Good. That's it again. Come meet me if you ever need anything. <laughs> Why is he stupid now? I'll muster it out before I even realize it. A quick visit indeed. I end up standing in front of the main building in the auxiliary building. Although to my eyes, they still look at one and the same. It's the first real look I get at the other students, so I watch people coming out of the school, going towards the gate, or the dorms. <laughs> I just love all the music in this game. Uh, Everyone seems cool. to know where they're going. I as bet. they live here. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? He makes the stupidest observations. I've yeah, he heard. does. This is why we shouldn't hear people's inner thoughts, because most people are fucking stupid. My inner thoughts are... <laughs> uh! <laughs> Window open. <laughs> I should go somewhere too, to prevent me from getting lost. It's around dinner time, but I feel tired instead of hungry. The wariness in me only grows as I trudge towards the dorms, set a little way apart from the main building complex. Oh yo, here we go. There's a garden of sorts between the school and the dorms. Shrubbery. SHRUBBERY! <laughs> Inside joke. Flowers and the overbearing smell of fresh cut grass that fills the atmosphere. Bro, you know our buddy Chris? He's allergic to the smell of cut grass. What? <laughs> yes. What? No, dead ass. He's allergic we'll, to we'll it. just make him sneeze and shit? It, like, gives him an allergic reaction, like, lots of sneezing, like, swelling and stuff. Uh, Legitimately allergic to it. That's the... He's, like, so, um, the, the chemicals or whatever that's released in the air from the plants. Oh, the, well, that, that, that makes yeah, that, that smell. True. It's like a pheromone, I think. Yeah. The plant pheromone. Um, that smell, um, whatever it's wow. released, he's allergic to it. Because, you know, people usually like the smell of cut grass. Who doesn't? He's, He's like, yeah, I, he's like, I like it, but like, it, it could potentially send me to the hospital. He's gotta stay inside, man, holy shit. Yeah! I was out oh with him God. walking his dog, and I was like, ah, oh, I smell of fresh cut grass. He was like, what? I was like, what? what's wrong? He tweaked out, he said, we gotta go. That poor dog. And, nah, he, he didn't tweak out, he was just like, oh, we should keep moving. Alright. It dawns in my tired mind that the smell feels novel because, whatever. <laughs> The dorm building- Ah, Rin. Oh, Rin, yo. The dorm building is big and made of red brick. Do you see that fucking face? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Have you not woken up and felt like that? <laughs> Look uh, that right now. It takes more time than necessary to fish out the key I was given for my pocket. Okay, cool. Room 119. Just whatever. I'm so stupid. I whatever. Say, I was about to say that exit sign looks, like, weird. It's- <laughs> there, there are people in the dorm. They're nice. The girls are cool. I climb the stairs. Here, small corridors branch off from the main hallway. Oh, Each of these shot. minor halls seem to have a mm. toilet and a shower, as well as four rooms. About halfway down the hall, I spy. Yeah, the nameplates on the rooms adjacent to mine are blank. I guess there are just two of us here. Light mm. shines from the. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Shines from below the door of room 117, so I'll knock lightly. Uh, hello? Is anyone home? From inside, I hear a few movements, then the clicking of way more locks than I thought these doors had. After a moment, the door squeaks open. A dis- <laughs> <laughs> oh, The living legend. A bespectacled boy is the standing king. in the doorway. He's looking at me very intently through his extremely thick glasses. Who is it? Blind? No, at least not completely. Why would he have eyeglasses if he was? He leans closer to me until our noses are almost touching. His breath stinks of garlic. He's a monster. Uh, he saw on a kite. I'm moving into the next room. I thought I should introduce my... His face suddenly brightens in realization, and he stands back upright, thrusting his hand out in a smiling greeting, almost straight to my diaphragm. Oh, sub dude. <laughs> Name's Kenji. 
Uh, hi. I take Kenji's sweaty <laughs> hand and shake it, still a little rattled by the sudden change of attitude and vehement re welcome. There were some suspicious looking people going in and out of your room earlier. It was probably my parents. <laughs> Your parents? You sure? Because they could have been some other people, too. Can't judge a book by its fucking cover. His out-of-place proverb is left hanging between us awkwardly <laughs> as I try to think of some way to respond. I'd say the chances are high enough. He shudders and makes some exaggerated hand gestures. You're a brave man, Isao. Me? I don't think I could trust the chances. <laughs> the only one I trust is myself. What happened to him? <laughs> Does that mean I shouldn't get to know you either? He thinks about this for a while. A wise decision. Damn. You're smarter than you look, you greasy bitch. Probably. But what do you look like? I hope not, smart. <laughs> he squints his eyes and leans closer again, but I lean backwards to dodge it. Yeah, never mind. It doesn't matter. With that, he turns, fumbles around for a moment in search of the door handle, and shuts the door behind him. <laughs> I slide the key into the lock of the door marked 119. Blank beige walls, white linen, a disc, whatever. This room sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Closet. Seems. Note. <laughs> Hi, Hee-chan. I got you. Yeah, you we got it. packed your things and made your bed. They said if they don't fit, then you should go to the office tomorrow. If you have any problems, you can always call us. Love, Mom and Dad. Thank you, British parents. <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about unpacking. Kinda hoped I would've. Would've been something to do. It's still too early. I put the note down on the desktop and lie down on the bed, feeling drained. Lying there makes me want to read something, but I've got nothing with me. Fucking idiot. Okay, so he talks some shit about soccer, like I didn't really need it. He says his other favorite hobby is reading. He's like, I didn't even bring a book. What is his personality? He's just a fucking sponge. Uh... He's just out. He's just out there for that. <laughs> the restless urge just keeps growing until I have to stand up. Maybe it's stress or something. Yeah, maybe you're stressed. I was pretty nervous about it before. Just jerk off. Damn, I have to distract. Jerk off. Tomorrow I'll go borrow. Just jerk off. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. But for now. Oh yeah. Gotta get my fix. I pick up one and shake it. Shuddering at the sound inside and read the glued on pharmacy label. He sound the Kai. Two tablets daily to stay alive. <laughs> it's blunt. It says that. It really does. It's kind of twisted, and I really get off on that. With a sigh, I begin my new daily ritual and taking the right number of pills from each bottle, being careful to check the correct dosages. I lie down again, feeling hollow and uncertain. And after that, I keep staring at the blank, unfamiliar ceiling for a long time. It doesn't start looking any more familiar. Not even after darkness falls and long shadows draw across my room like fingers. You freaky bitch. It's a weird thing to say. The sheets feel slightly more uncomfortable. Fuck it. Warm and nest-like against the chill that passes for room temperature here. Yeah, it's dark, and the night beckons me to sleep. Oh I keep dark. drifting. I'll close my eyes. Oh my god. What an exciting life he leads. Is this the beginning of the game now? No, it's just the next scene. <laughs> the next major scene. With the next part of the act? Like, let's say this is act 1-2 now. Oh, okay. I wake up in a strange room, and just in case... Mm. This is a good idea. Oh, Lily. Oh, Rin. <clears throat> Not all, Rin. <laughs> Fuck you, Rin. Anyway. I wake up in my room. Head ass. <laughs> <laughs> Solid morning light shivers against the light gray ceiling. I have forgotten to draw the curtains closed last night. Huh? I... This, Yeah, it's your room, you head ass. I'm just gonna be... You know, I'm gonna be the voice in my head that's constantly berating me. But for him. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the this third room this year that I'm supposed to call mine. Various things around here remind me that indeed it's yes, no shit. <laughs> Your fucking name on the door. <laughs> yeah. Your bags. <laughs> my new school books on the desk. My new Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you think should I take it or should I just fucking die? <laughs> 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 he just swallows too many. 
<laughs> take two daily to survive. Should I do it? <laughs> I think there is one path where he just stops taking his pills. Oh shit, that's incredible. Yeah, and he almost dies because of it. And the nurse gets on his ass like, yo, I'm gonna I'm tear that ass up. And he's like, please don't. My uniforms are in the closet. I slink out from under the sheets because I'm a fucking snake before <laughs> dressing. Putting on a new school uniform feels like dressing in someone else's clothes, you oh. fucking pervert. The artificial smell of rare <laughs> detergent invades my nose. Get something more expensive then. Yeah, man. Get some fucking you, wolf broke? thorn. Oh, hell like yeah. real men. Old spice. But the feeling of fresh cloth against my back is a good one. A natural one. Because people are clothed. <laughs> it feels like a school uniform as it should. What are you saying, you head ass? <laughs> that goes for other things too. What? Huh? Except for the people. Because they fucking. Oh, Kenji. I think back to my talk with Kenji yesterday. Misha's constant laughter and the use of the N word. The Shizune <laughs> sweeping sign language gestures. Well, I've only met three students so far. Maybe they aren't that normal, but I'm sure the others are. You'd be surprised. Mm. Or perhaps people like them are what passes for normal around here. No, Misha's not normal in any reality. <laughs> no. Except for SDC. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what does pass for normal around here anyway? What do people do? I don't see a lot of kinks hang... <laughs> well said. All through class, the question remains in my mind, so I decided to ask Shizune about it when we split into groups. After all, she did say if I had anything I wanted to know, I should ask her. You can't talk to her, though. <laughs> <laughs> She crosses her arms and shifts her gaze slowly to Misha, who looks more preoccupied with trying to grind the eraser of her pencil down so that the top is perfectly even and flat. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Shichan. Is this something you want from me? Oh, I see. Hmm, that's a good question, Hee-chan. <laughs> My first thought is, that means she doesn't know, which is worrying. Maybe I'm being too negative. Anyway, uh, Misha, please don't prove me right. <laughs> well, that's right! Everyone's encouraged to join a club. A lot of people do so because there isn't really anything else to do. This school kind of sucks, but there are <laughs> events like the festival coming up in a few days. Every student attends because they have nothing else to do. You actually transferred in at a busy time. Maybe you could help out. Sure. What's the festival about? Misha freezes, because she's a fucking idiot. Wahaha! <laughs> Siri! <laughs> you know what? Three times. Three times a charm. I'm, I'm calling Tails. Tails? Alright. Flip a coin. The answer is nine. <laughs> what? I just said the answer is nine. <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin. It's tails this time. Oh, uh, you're safe. You're Twice safe. in a row. Wait, what? No. Two out of three. Uh, two out of three? Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. I don't know, Hee-Chan. The truth is, it's a local event. I'm not from this area, so... Wow. She starts signing desperately to Shizune, asking her to bail her out. Shizune adjusts her glasses at the end of an oddly grandiose flourish and starts <laughs> signing hard and heavy. Oh, uh, so hot. Yeah, that is hot. Ah! <laughs> she a goat! <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, who cares? Misha puffs out her chest as she shouts Shizune's words at me with a disproportionate amount of pride. <laughs> Too loud. I can see heads turning to look in our <laughs> direction. Not so loud. <laughs> Human beings evolve with each new generation. <laughs> the ideals and beliefs behind a festival will inevitably be changed with time. <laughs> now it's about delicious fried food and amusing little games that you play to win prizes. <laughs> What's with her? <laughs> the teacher clears his throat very loudly, <sighs> batting his long wooden pointer against his other palm like a baton. He shoots a point at gaze at us. Finally noticing where we are, M Misha stifles a yelp and quickly quiets down. Shizune doesn't seem embarrassed at all, though, brushing it off without a care. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the middle of class and should start working. That's right, Shichan. 
What? Oh, that's right, He Chan. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Are you asking because he's interested in joining a club? Could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I think I saw a suspicious glance exchange between them. Misha's tone has also changed, although it does, <laughs> although it does that every other word anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it. Misha and Shizune look at each other again. I'm about to ask what they have in mind when something dark flutters in my peripheral vision, catching my attention. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the girl with the long, dark hair get up from her my wife. <laughs> it doesn't seem like she was working in a group and no one seems to notice her but me. I glance at the teacher, who's also looking at the dark-haired girl go. Why doesn't he say anything? Hee-chan? Is something wrong? <laughs> Do I look as uneasy as I feel? Or is Misha just looking at me looking after- What? <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, like we were asking, you don't have any plans for lunch today, do you? I know you don't, you lonely bitch. <laughs> I thought I would go to the library and pick up some books. Uh, not really. You want to have lunch together then? Spineless shrimp. Sure. <laughs> Yay! Oh, yeah. Wow! I'm going to kill myself. Okay, he chomp. Perfect. Uh, flip a coin I'm again. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Same. Tails again. Flip a coin. It's heads this time. Aw, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Back at it again. I hope my dad's proud of my Ebonics. <laughs> I got I mean, the It's the character you're narrating that really just sets the cherry on top, you know? I'm not throwing around the N-word, though. Uh, yeah, as, as most would in Ebonics. No, it's kind of you're supposed to, right? I mean, it's kind of just like saying fuck a lot. Yeah. It's it's an adverb at that point. Yeah. It's a, a sentence enhancer. There you go. Shot number four, going down the hatch. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Don't, these are not graceful. I'm not taking these well. <laughs> and the thing is, they're so they're so delicious. Oh, my sinuses are on fire. <laughs> uh, that, one, that one fought back. We'll come back. Oh, we'll yeah. come back. We'll be back, everyone. <laughs> oh, fuck. 